The technique I'm teaching is to pick a point of aim with your sights where the plates of the Texas Star will rotate into that aim point and as they do just keep shooting them. Bang, 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 bang. Sounds easy, doesn't it? If I'm shooting the shotgun and choosing 3 o'clock as my aiming point, you can see that the plates are partially obscured by the barrel of the shotgun. So that makes it more difficult to see when to shoot the plates. Instead of 3 o'clock, if I choose 9 o'clock with the shotgun as the aim point, now I can see the plates coming into view of the sights. This is much better than the 3 o'clock aim point with the shotgun. If I'm using a scope to shoot the plates on the Texas Star, I can pick any position I want to shoot them from 12 o'clock all the way around to 1 o'clock and there will be, I can see the plates easily. As the Texas Star is rotating counterclockwise, this weight is being pulled down by gravity and is putting power into turning the arms of the Texas Star. The weight at 6 o'clock it takes energy to pull it up against the force of gravity. So it's taking energy to move that weight up. So if I shoot the weights at 12 o'clock, that weight being shot off, it's not putting energy into making the Texas Star spin so it's going to slow down the arms of the Texas Star. If I shoot the weight off at 6 o'clock, that, that energy that would have been put into making the weight turn uh, go up against gravity, that energy will no longer need to be applied and so the Texas Star will spin faster, which might work for you if you're fast enough to keep shooting the Texas Star plates as they come into view.
this stick to hold the arms of the Texas Star in place when I have the weight on one of the plates. The stick has a hinge in the middle. That way when I pull on the rope it comes out of position easily. And this, the nuts are the kind that are embedded in the wood so they won't come loose. Then I have this eye bolt to tie the rope to. I've cut this end of the stick to fit the Texas, the arm on the Texas Star. And the other end fits against the base of the Texas Star. I made some weights to power the Texas Star and make it spin. This one is a five pound. I put some eye screws into the weight. I have a cable that I held together with a clamp and then this loop slips over the one of the plates on the Texas Star. This is a heavier weight, 20 pounds. The other one was 5 pounds. Also has a cable. And I can, of course, use them both together. Now that this weight I've cast is cool, I can start drilling a hole and putting in eye screws so I can attach a cable. This can weighs 20 pounds. It's not quite 4 inches in diameter and about 4 and a half inches high. I'm going to choose a drill bit slightly smaller than the diameter of the screws and hope that that will hold sufficiently well on the 20 pound weight. Now I'll drill two holes for the eye screws. I expect to have to keep taking the drill out after a short distance drilling because the lead will get stuck in the drill bit and I have to clean it out. drill a little further. And clean the drill bit again and keep doing that until I get the hole drilled as far as I want. Once I have the hole drilled as far as I want it, then I can start 
threading in the eye screw. Try to keep it straight. Get it started. See if I can get it in far enough to hold well. I think I'll line the hole and the eye screw up with the one on the other side and run the cable between the two. I'll attach the cable by putting ends through the eye bolt and putting each of those into this clamp Tightening it up, tighten the bolts, the nuts, and that should be what I need to do to make this weight hang from the Texas Star. Once I have the nuts tight, that should be what I need to hang this weight from the Texas Star.